Well, Mr. Sokolov has certainly recovered. A good night's sleep has left him with an appetite. Attention Dunwall citizens, the Ascendancy Circle has... The young lady Emily was trying to sneak into your quarters while you slept, sir. I don't think she meant any harm. Place without delay. I know it looks... I was inventing a new kind of lock. The tumblers, shaped like snowflakes. The truth is, there is no snowflake lock. I was just, you know, looking through the lock. I realize, well, everything you're thinking, I already realize. I'm a natural philosopher, but that doesn't mean I'm not a gentleman, or I try to be one. Can't you see I'm about to bathe? Corvo, under other circumstances, I assure you I might welcome your advances. But rats, plague, and tyranny have a way of killing the mood. Attention Dunwall citizens. Be aware that looting of evacuated areas is a serious offense and will be summarily punished by officers of the watch. Display your pride in Dunwall by respecting the property and rights of others in these trying times. And preserve I hope Sokolov will cooperate. I'd hope to have him paint my portrait again one day. Just me this time. It's not that I object to holding him hostage for a while, since he's been aiding the Lord Regent. But it's a shame. I always found him rather charming. Anton Sokolov dined with us at the manor several years ago. He is both brilliant and disgusting. I doubt he has changed much. Bringing in Sokolov was a stroke of genius. The Lord Regent's got the support of most of the noble families. Who knows what bullying he's done to bring them all in line. We need information to break his hold. Royal Physician, I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. Bah! I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the Empress, and the former spymaster, or the Lord Regent, as he calls himself, is a ruthless tyrant bent on destroying the city. The heart of the Empire. It's time to put him to the question. Whenever you're ready, Corvo.
You're part of this rabble, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Sorry, sir. No, not Rex. Stop! Stop! I will tell you what you need to know. I'm obliged to safeguard Dunwall's greatest intellectual asset. I can only tell you so much. I was not permitted to see her face or hear her full name. She called herself Lady Boyle. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle estate. Tonight, the timing is perfect, Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course. You already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? Yes, you will be able to mingle with them once you're on the grounds. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent, and take her out whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. Corvo, if you do this tonight, we'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. I hear you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. I knew Sokolov would see reason and tell us what we need to know. He never actually liked the Lord Regent. Have you ever been in a sea battle? Of course. Did you ever see pirates? And did you sink me? Of course. Dozens. Oh, yes. But that's not for young girls to hear about. But I will be Empress, won't I? And then I'll have to sink lots of enemy ships myself. And that's what Empresses do mostly, isn't it? Of course. I knew it! I read that some pirate ships have witches aboard that can cause storms and make whales do what they want. Is that true? Yes. Uh... You require my unique services? We can quickly return to my shop. Masked ball. You happen to have the most clever mask of them all. The Boyle costume ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours will let you blend right in. Do 
enjoy your evening out with folk of quality. Better you than me. to invited guests only by request of the local landowners. Unauthorized intruders will be expelled or apprehended on site. Is that what you dreamed of? All those months in Cold Ridge Prison while waiting for the executioner? Well, beautiful women in the latest fashions, laughing and drinking Tibian wine. And what of the host, Lady Boyle? I can see all her tomorrows, and I know that either she dies tonight at your hand, or she'll live out her days, month after month, year after year, far away, even as her fine clothes wear into tatters and her silken hair gets dull and gray. Half the city can see the lights from the party and they dream of the delights inside. Will you tear it all to pieces? Either way, it's Lady Boyle's last party.
lost her voice right at the start. And that's a crime? Wait for it. The overseers were passing and they had one of their, you know, the music boxes. So she stopped. Invitation. Maddie, don't chase after that. You don't know what's in those buildings. No place is safe anymore. I don't understand what's happened to this city. Oh, yes. They're going to... Are you looking forward to the party? Invitation, and we'll please. go inside and make a nest. Remarks about Emma's style. Our lack of Well, we know I'm no gentleman, so you might as well make them here. You have to feel sorry for Right her. this way, She's sir. She's only here to ask for a handout. She must be. When have the Boyles ever given anything away? Maybe she hopes she'll win the game. Well, life is so boring. I'd die without gossip. We'll probably die anyway, waiting for Emma. I'll drink to that. Which part? Any of it. I damn it once more. Ah, Mr. Another Bunch. party game. Just had someone here pretending. It was fun for a season, well, but now... What is it tonight? Guess which is which. Their hair and makeup are identical. Think you'll get your own squad after what happened last night? Indeed. I believe so. Yes. Pendleton? Hmm. What's he got to say to me? Pendleton is a gutless lying sack of shit. I hope he's paying you well for this. It's damn cold tonight. Hurry up and let's see what you're made of. Lord Pendleton's representative will select his weapon. A contest of honor will take place between this anonymous gentleman acting for the challenger, Lord Trevor Pendleton, and Lord Shaw, the challenged party. You will each turn and proceed to the marked positions and remain facing away from each other as I count down from three. You may then turn and fire Get at on will. with it. I'll kill this fool and we can all go back inside. Sorry, my lord. We shall proceed. Stop! Stand right there. Three. Two. One. And that's another patron dead. What do we do now? It's lucky we're in the van. I hear the Estermonts pay top call. Never doubt. No use trying them tonight. Let's see if we can find a little brand new the boils clean the mess. What most people don't remember is, the rats came a half a year before the Empress died. And the plague, too. Are you sure? 
That's not how I remember it. If something caused this, it's not the Empress's passing. Look, scary man. Excuse me. You, a gentleman? I'll have you know I'm as gentle as I... <laughs> Bless you. You there, stop that. Don't be silly. The rumors say the Boyles practically own your estate. What if I said I could get you out of the city, away from all this? To Sir Connors or further. I don't believe you're a scandal in that mask. I like a man with poor judgment. Would you get me a drink? I'd be so grateful. I'm sure in a few drinks I'll find that mask funny. Welcome to the Boyle Estate. I say nothing against the Lord Regent. He's the only one holding this Welcome together. Welcome to the party. It'll make us great again. Some of us will be great. The Boyle. Good evening. Least. Now, now. It's just luck they found crystals on their land. And that we can't make the rat lights Welcome without to the them. Estate. Excuse me. Come and entertain me. Thank you so much. Now, how can I thank you? Are you playing Lady Boyle's guessing game? Well, I know for a fact that Waverly's in red tonight. That wanton thing. Additionally, Lydia's in white. So. Did you hear about Mrs. Brimsley? You'll never believe this. What is it now? She had her job. Welcome to the Boyle Estate. Evening, sir. I know your mission tonight. We must speak. Privately. I'm a friend of Pendleton's, and I've done a few favors for your cause. I know your purpose here tonight. And, how to say this, your target is the woman I love. I swear that if you'll bring her to me unharmed, you will never hear of her again. There's a cellar directly below the kitchen. I'll wait for you there. I'm not proud of this, but surely it's better than seeing her killed. Her name is Lydia. I won't harm her, I swear. I'm a man of means. Just bring her to the cellar, and I will keep her safe Doing with all me. Right there. Forever. Yes. Do you? Tell me. You're very clever. Now tell me yours. Save my life. From what? Are you ill? We found out what the whales were taken from the last days since the plague started. Excuse me. No guests past this point. Things have become so much better for us since the rats came. You found her! Quickly, let's get her on board! Oh, my love. Someday you will understand. You'll never know how happy you've made me. 
Someday she'll learn to appreciate me. After all, she'll have her whole life. Squad after what happened last night? On the back yes, of, your of course.
hope you enjoyed your evening, sir. But we'd best be on our way. Quickly. said he would meet us here. I checked the wine cellar. Losing family gives a man a thirst. I trust you enjoyed Attention, Dunwall citizens. The masked criminal is believed to be hiding in a quarantine district. All citizens must report unexplained lights, odd sounds, and signs of conflict originating from evacuated buildings. You did it. And now we've done away with a woman and a noble woman at that. But Boyle was a viper. She helped the Lord Regent kill the Empress. So I don't feel a thing for her. Personally? I heard you upheld my name in a rather spectacular style and at some risk to yourself. I want to thank you for it. This little item has been helpful to my family over the generations. But I think you'll find more use for it than I ever will. Go on. Take it. You've had a long night, Corvo. But I fear it's not over. Havelock and Martin have already cooked up something more for you. They would like to see you now. In Havelock's chambers above the bar. Attention Dunwall citizens, the streets adjacent to Boyle Manor remain off-limits pending Hello, an ongoing investigation. <laughs> 